Buenos dias, everybody. Buenos dias. This Buenos is dias. A, a special edition of En Casa con la Plaza, our first Saturday session, our first morning session, and it's a special one for you. And to introduce our special guest for today, I'm going to bring on my colleague. Oh, by the way, my name is Abelardo de la Peña Jr., Director of Marketing and Communications at La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. This is In Casa con la Plaza, our almost daily programming, which brings our programming, which we usually have at La Plaza, directly to you, to your homes, to your pads, to your iPhones, just wherever you're at so that you can enjoy, learn, discuss, discover everything that the Latino community has to offer here in the Southern California area. So with that, let me go back to reintroduce our Director of Membership and Development, Kimberly Chavez, who will be our host for today's session. Take it away, Kim. Hi, good morning, buenos dias, bienvenidos. Uh, thank you for joining us for this special En Casa session. Uh, today we have Sara Quintanar uh, joining us. She is a uh, musician, a bilingual educator and uh, Angelino, and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself. Good morning, Sara. Hi, everybody. It's me, Sara, Senora Sara. Um, I'm a teacher here in LA. I teach at schools. Well, I was teaching at schools all over LA, and mostly for young learners, so in preschools and daycares and elementary schools. And um, yeah, born and raised here in Los Angeles, grew up in Glendale, and I went to the High School for the Arts, which kind of changed my view on a few things musically. But um, once I started having kids, I really wanted them to learn music and music in Espanol. So I started music classes for kids and um, started teaching in Spanish because I found that that was the best way for my little babies to learn Espanol. I love it. We all love it. Uh, you know, La Plaza, of course, our mission is to uh, honor and celebrate Latino um, art, history, and culture. And so what better way to introduce uh, our children, our family, our community to our culture than through our music. So uh, with that, I'll let you take it away with uh, your first song for this morning. Awesome. Well, thanks. And I want to thank you and La Plaza for having me. Um, when you guys first opened, I took my kids and we had the best time there. I still have pictures from the first visit and other visits, but um, I'll have to dig them out for you because we had so much fun there and we can't wait to go back. Thank you. Okay, so you guys already, I, I'm assuming that you're at home relaxing and maybe already had some breakfast, maybe had that first nap or anyways, we're going to get started singing and we are all musicos. I'm a musico, you're a musico and what I like to tell my students and my families is que somos musicos. So if you're not a musician, or you don't think you're a music musician, um, think again, because you are. We all have our voices, and we all have something to play on our bodies. So vamos a empezar a respirar. We're gonna breathe first to get our voices ready and warm them up to sing Bienvenidos, okay? So let's all take a deep breath together like this. We go, <gasps> we're gonna hold it in and let it go like this. Shh. We're gonna take another deep breath. <gasps> hold it, let it go. Shh because we got to get ready y calentar nuestras voces. <clears throat> so the first song I always sing with my students is called Bienvenidos. So you can say that to your friends or whoever's around you today. Say Bienvenidos. Can I hear you say that? Bienvenidos. Nice. And we say vamos a cantar y vamos a jugar. So before you get any other instruments, just, just use your voice and your hands. And when we sing this, we're going to tap and clap like this, tap and clap. And before I play it on guitar, just check it out. We're gonna say, bienvenidos, bienvenidos, vamos a cantar. So make sure you use your hands and your voices, okay? So now we'll start with the guitar. Are you clapping? Clapping and tapping, baby? We say, bienvenidos, bienvenidos, vamos a cantar. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos, vamos a jugar. And here, keep clapping or tapping, and we're going to say hola to our friend, okay? Say hola, niñas, hola, niños, hola, amigos, hola, friends, hola, familia, hola, buenos, hola, niños. Say it again. We 
are you saying hi to? Who's around you? I don't have anybody here, so I can say hi to my house. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Vamos a cantar la la la. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Vamos a jugar. Awesome. Did you sing? Good. Un aplauso redondo si estabas cantando. So, let's continue. When we sing and we're getting ready, we want to think of some of the songs that are really fun for early learners. And right now, and during this time, I've been collaborating a lot with a friend of mine. Her name is Ana, and she has Spanish play dates with Ana. Oh, un aplauso, que bueno. Y, um, and Ana has taught me so many songs. She sings with students um, and her own children, and she likes my music, and I love what she teaches. So watching her teach my music has been fun. So she's sent me lyrics. So here's one of her songs from Ana and it's called Hola, Hola, Como Esta. So if you're new to teaching your kids Spanish, then um, remember that music is the best way for them to learn. So, and it's, it's great to start at the beginning so we can teach our friends and our babies and our students to sing Hola, Hola, Como Estas? Yo estoy bien, ¿y tú qué tal? And we know we say it different ways, in different places, but this is how we're gonna teach it to you. Okay, listen, okay? Everybody say, Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, como estas? Is that hard? Probably not too hard. Okay, let's try it again, ready? And you can clap along or wave to your friends. We'll say, Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, Okay, we did it two times. Let's do it one more time so you really know how to sing it. Ready? Two. Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, como estas? Hola, hola, como estas? So now what do you say? We're going to say, Yo estoy bien y tú qué tal? Yo estoy bien y tú qué tal? Yo estoy bien y tú qué tal? Yo estoy bien. There you go. Now you know how to say hola y puedes saludar un amigo. <clears throat> All right, where are we going next? Are we going to keep saying hi? Do you want to keep using your voices? Or are you ready to use another instrument you may have on your body? Hmm. So think about it. Where else do you have an instrument that you can play? Well, we all know we can use our hands. And this is the best way for us to make some music. Ready? Let's, let's count together. Vamos a contar y vamos a aplaudir. Sometimes clapping is really easy. And sometimes you might notice someone claps a little off of the rhythm, like. Well, let's try to practice using our hands to clap, okay? So vamos a contar a cuatro y vamos a aplaudir en los puntos dos y cuatro. So we're going to clap on the two and the four, okay? And en español, en el dos y el cuatro. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Muy bien. So your hands are ready? Let's do that again, okay? Why don't you try to clap? on the two and four. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Muy bien. Eres músico. So don't forget to say, soy músico. Okay? Because you're a musician. Okay, here's a song that I had a student teach me when I was teaching Spanish. I used to teach Spanish um, as a long-term sub at LAXA, at the High School for the Arts. And I had a student, and we were making up songs to teach Spanish, because all the kids love to sing. And he said, Sara, my mom teaches, and she sings this song with her students, and I want you to learn it. So this is a song that he taught me, and I'm gonna sing it to you. So listen, follow, and use your body as your instrument. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mis 
manos dicen, mis pies dicen, mi boca dice la la la, mi cuerpo dice cha cha cha. Did you get it? Mira, manos, your pies, mi boca dice la la la, y mi cuerpo dice cha cha cha. So you're using your instrument, your body as an instrument. And that's what the song says. Mi cuerpo hace música. So let's do it again. Are you ready? I'm going to move back a little so maybe I can stand up. Ready? Uno, dos. Uno, dos, tres. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo hace música. Mis manos dicen, mis pies dicen. Mi boca dice la la la, mi cuerpo dice cha cha cha. Did it work? Did your body make music? I hope it did. All right, are we ready to move along? There's a lot to do when we're in music class. So let's keep using our body as our instruments for the next song. And this one is called Arriba Abajo by our friend Dr. Thomas. And he's on Facebook too and makes music for children. Mm -hmm. And when we say, pon las manos arriba, what do we do? Arriba. Y pon las manos abajo, abajo. And we're going to say, arriba, abajo, y dubi, 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 do. When I say dubi, 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 do, we're going to turn around, okay? So I'm standing up. I'm going to move my camera just a teeny bit. Whoops. Okay, ready? So follow what it says. Porque vamos a aplaudir así. Don't forget. En el dos y el cuatro. Con las manos arriba, arriba. Con las manos abajo. Then you say, abajo. Arriba, abajo. Y cuando digo, dubi, 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 do, we're going to turn around. Okay, dubi, 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 do. Okay? You ready for this? Es un tono, un tono, un poquito más agudo, a little higher. Con las manos arriba, arriba. Con las manos abajo, abajo. Arriba, abajo, dubi, 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 do. A ver, ¿qué más? What else can we put up? Because do we make music with our shoulders? It's my favorite thing to do. Con los hombros, arriba, arriba. Con los hombros, abajo, abajo. Arriba, abajo, dubi, 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 do. I hope you're doing this with me. A ver, what else can we put up or down? Hmm? We can use our rodillas. Got your knees ready? Con las rodillas arriba, arriba. Con las rodillas abajo, abajo. Arriba, abajo. Dubi, 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 do. Yes. A ver, let's do one more, okay? Let's do los ojos. Arriba y abajo. Con los ojos arriba. Con los ojos abajo, abajo. Arriba. Yay! All right, so that's going to be our, in our songs using our body. So we're going to move on to instruments. Awesome. Sarah, while you uh, get your instruments together, I have a question for you just with that song. What, do, okay. what are the benefits of exposing children to music during their uh, early development? I think the benefits are quite numerous. I, I know that I've actually even written long lists of the benefits, not just like motor development, developing like their, you know, their ability to understand music and build an aptitude for music. So one thing I noticed with my babies and um, singing all the time was that they developed like a really great sense of pitch and being able to sing in tune. And that's not always necessary, but they also, develop like you know their motor skills a little quicker I think <clears throat> in some babies you know it's very different for every kid every kid is so different like my first second third completely different people but um mostly like their vocabulary the more they sing then the more words they learn and they're learning words that they may not have just heard in everyday you know speaking no I mean so I one thing yeah, no, I've read that, uh, and just based on the song, that's what it reminded me is, you know, self-expression, memory, uh, their mo building their motor skills, uh, and then dancing, because when you ask uh, kids in kindergarten or a preschool, you know, who likes to dance? Everyone likes to dance. And then as time goes on, 
people get a little bit more intimidated. Oh, I can't dance, I can't sing. So I think this uh, being exposed to it and being really comfortable with it from an early age uh, and you know, keeping to that uh, is uh, like this lifelong uh, gift. You know? It is for sure. And when I first started um, playing music in Spanish, like we were in, um, say my daughter's first kindergarten class, we were always listening to music from um, like Jose Luis Orozco, who's a friend of mine. And I'm just gonna say hi to him in case he's checking this out. Um, he, um, so we would listen to his songs and I would play his songs, I would play my songs. And then um, even now he actually has an album called Muevete Out. Um, but um, because we all know how important it is to move our bodies when we're singing dancing and how it helps us actually learn songs. So um, for example, because I wanna touch on that really quick, uh, when we're learning music, I noticed that if we just sit there and we learn the song, they might tune out a little bit, my students. They might just stand there and they're listening, learning and learning the song. But once we add movement to it, it's, a whole, it's on a whole new level. The kids really learn. And a song I'm gonna teach later is called La Paloma. And once we add the movements to each word, like, like, Vuela tu vuelo, paloma mia. Once we do that, it, it changes everything for the kids because if not, they're just singing, bueno, tu bueno, but then they connect the movements to the vocabulary and then they actually memorize the songs faster. So if the kids can sing and dance at the same time, much better. Excellent. Excellent. So you said you're grabbing some instruments. Um, for those of us who do not have instruments at home, what can we use? What do you recommend? Uh, how do we make them? Okay, so if you don't have um, an instrument at home, like say you don't have a drum. Okay, I have a couple of drums, and pretty much all the instruments I've gotten have been at the thrift store or garage sales, but um, that might not be something you can do right now. So here's a bongo, right? But if you don't have a bongo, look, I picked up a few things today. You can just get a Tupperware, get a topper from your drawer, and um, check this out. I have this, y un tenedor. If you have instruments and you get like any kind of palito, say you have a marker, a pen, or a stick, and we want to remind um, families that you know we want to keep it safe here, so just get ob objects that you know will be safe for the kids. Um, so I just have a tupper and I have a stick, but I'm gonna use a fork because what if you don't even have a cool stick hanging around? And, and con el tenedor and esto, we can just let's do the our pulsos dos y cuatro, like our clapping with this. Ready? Uno, dos. Tres, cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Look, we have a drum. You don't have to go buy one. You probably have some kind of container. And I want to show you. So one thing students always teach me is that when they have an instrument, they like to explore and to see what kind of different sounds it could make. So this could be one way of listening to your Tupperware. But sometimes we think, well, what other sounds can it make? And then this is a chance for you to ask your child or, or whoever's with you, what other sound can you make with this? So I have a fork. How about if we scratch it like this? And it makes even a different sound. That's almost like having a guida around the um, instrument. That goes, brr -brr 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 -brr. So we can use that like this. or. Now we have a different tone and we can tap with our Tupperware or just eat it. And check this out, go get a plate. If you have a plate at home, we can use a plate. Here's just a plate from Ikea. And let's listen to see what kind of sound it makes. We have a drum, we have a palito, and we're ready to go. And you can try it with the other side. And then a lot of times the kids like we take different kinds of rhythm. And I ask them, like, what rhythm do you want to play? And then I'll ask them, and they might say, I want to do this. Whatever they do. Okay, so pick up your instrument that you have right now, and we're gonna do a little song called Paso a Pasito. And this is something we do so we can move around, use our instrument, and so do you have it ready? I hope you have it. Okay, and we're gonna walk. So let's go somewhere. Donde quieres ir? Vamos a la plaza, okay? So we're gonna say, Paso a pasito, voy a la plaza. Paso a pasito, ya es para ti. 
I say, yeah, estoy aquí. And then you freeze. Are you freezing? Freeze. Vamos otra vez. And play your rhythm. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Paso a pasito. Voy a la playa. Paso a pasito. Ya estoy aquí. Freeze. See, you're doing it just like you're in a band. So you play when you hear the music and when we're moving. And then when we stop, you stop. And that's an awesome musical element to learn that you know when to rest, when you're supposed to rest. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Hmm. We're spending a little bit of time at home lately. So let's go to the bathroom, okay? We're not going to go to the bathroom. We're just going to walk there. Al baño. Vamos. Paso a pasito. Voy a baño. Paso a pasito. Ya estoy aquí. And turn off the light because somebody forgot to turn off the light in the bathroom. Okay? Okay, vamos a comida. Vamos a fuera. Tupperware and a lot of times in, in Latin music we listen to songs that have really awesome driving rhythms. I actually have a cajon right here that you can't see. It makes a really cool sound but sometimes we want a cowbell. But if you don't have a cowbell, look what I picked up this morning. We have a little measuring cup right here. You see it and it's made out of metal and I was thinking that this measuring cup made some pretty awesome sounds. You ready to hear it? Okay, vamos a escuchar. You wanna put your ear close to listen? Here, listen, I'll play it softly. Awesome. Okay, when we play cowbell, sometimes we play all four beats of a song. Ready? So vamos a contar a cuatro. Otra vez. So did you wanna get something like this? Try to find something that's metal, and then this is metal too. So when we hit it, it's gonna have a really cool sound. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Muy bien. We'll do paso a pasito one more time with our made up cowbell. Ready? Okay, esta vez vamos a la escuela. Okay? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Paso a pasito. Voy a la escuela. Are you frozen? Good. Okay, so when you have something like this, that's, you know, a perfect instrument to have. Even if you have, I'm going to show you my last instrument that I picked up today. Um, someone dropped off some microwave popcorn at my house, but I don't have a microwave. So I thought this might be a good instrument to use. What do you think? Do you think it's going to make some good sounds? Let's try it. See what microwave popcorn sounds like. Sounds pretty awesome, right? So let's sing a song with this. We're gonna sing the song about el elefante que balenciaba sobre la tela de una araña. Okay, so let's play it with one of the instruments that you have at home. Okay, primero tenemos que hablar al elefante. Okay, so everybody say elefante, elefante, and the elephant has a big trunk. So we're gonna sing and call him. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña. Como veía que resistía, pero no llamar otro elefante. So when we have a drum, sometimes I notice my kids like to sing the syllables of the song. Or sometimes they just play a beat. Okay? Either way, it's awesome. Ready, what are you gonna do? You wanna sing the syllables of the song? Let's do dos elefantes. Call out. Elefante, elefante, son dos. Dos elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña. Como veía que resistía, pero no llamar otro elefante. Muy bien, un aplauso redondo para ustedes. You keep your instruments that you have. Here's another instrument you might have at home. If, well, let's see. My mom, who's an abuela, and she's a bisabuela too. She's even a great grandma. <laughs> she might always have one of these around. Really loud. She had a washboard. 
Do you have one of these? I wonder if some of you don't even know what this is. This is, so she was like, watch the playitas on here. Okay, so let's hear what this awesome instrument sounds like, which they actually use in different types of music. I mean, music, ready? So with my fork and the washboard, we're gonna listen to see what this instrument sounds like. I mean, we can sing any song with this, especially if I remember words. Okay, check it out. This is awesome. So just grab something that's trying your house and just have a jam. Try to have a jam night. We you guys just put on the cumbias and everybody can play an instrument. So I'm going to sit down again, Kim, and get ready for the next section, okay? That's perfect. You, you mentioned a jam session. Right now, I think a really popular thing is to have these virtual dance parties or sometimes after dinner, we have a family dance party. But for those of, of us who maybe have not had a dance party at home, what are three tips that you give us for just getting the kids up, getting the family up and just getting going? How do you get comfortable with that? Okay, so what I don't know, I, I have three kids and one thing, we kind of battle on like what to listen to, right? Sure. Um, when was a kid, we basically had a record player and a cassette player, and all we could listen to was what was there. We had no choice, right? Now is the land and home of choice of every song on Spotify that you can listen to all day and night, right? So we grew up hat and stuck with what our parents said we had to listen to unless we could afford CDs or something. But anyway, so um, what I do is we each take a turn. So we have a dance party, we have speakers wherever we can put a speaker. Like there's one in the kitchen. And then we all have our own little Spotify playlist. And especially my son, because my son wants to make sure that he gets his turn for everybody's turn. But we, we play a game when we do our dance parties where um, everybody gets a turn. So it's my choice and then someone else's song and then another song and another song. And then we just all put them, well, we put, them, we put music on as much as we can. I think if it's around, don't forget to just turn it on. I know we want peace and quiet, and, but, um, <laughs> At least for one part of the day, if you can turn on that radio or put on that speaker and put on some songs you love, your kids will see how much you love the music. And then they will feel how much you love the music and, and they will start to sing. Like, for an example, my son right now is listening to some, like, Frankie Valley with me, you know, because he sings really high. Um, and he loves to sing those songs with me. And he likes singing music in Spanish, too. And then they're gonna learn the songs and the words without even realizing that they're learning Spanish. So just turn it on, that's my recommendation. Just awesome. keep it on and dance. So, okay, anything else before I move on? No, let's take it away, next one. Okay. So right now, let's just sing another song. Since you guys have your instruments with you, hopefully something from the kitchen, uh, let's sing a song about Un Barco Chiquitito. This is a song um, I sing with uh, my first group of kindergartners, and it's just some one that we really like. Okay, it goes like this. Había una vez un bar, un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un bar, un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un bar, un barco chiquitito. Y no podía, no podía, no podía navegar. Are you playing? I hope you're playing. On. Pasaron uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Pasaron uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete semanas. Y no podía, y no podía, no podía navegar. Y si la historia no les parece larga. Y si la historia no les parece larga. Y si la historia no les parece larga. Volvemos, volvemos, volvemos a empezar. Había una vez un bar, un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un bar, un barco chiquitito. Había una vez un bar, un barco chiquitito. Y no podía, no podía, no podía navegar. Okay, let's move on to another song where we can all sing, use our instruments, and then learn some new words, okay? So another song that I sing with my friend Ana from uh, Spanish Playdates is called Los Colores. So kids love learning about different colors. They love uh, pointing out colors once they're learning how to read and when they're learning how to speak. And we all love Los Colores. So here's a really fun song. So I'm gonna actually share some imagery with you so that we can sing it together. Before I do that, you can have your instrument 
so you can see how fun and rhythmic this song is. So, so I'm counting on you to play whatever you have, and I will sing the beginning of the song. So it says, Yo si se mis colores, yo si se mis colores, yo si se mis colores, y hoy te los canto a ti. So it's really fun, and I want you to say that. Yo si se mis colores, okay? Let's do it again, ready? Yo si se mis colores, yo si se mis colores, yo si se mis colores, y hoy te los canto a ti. Okay. ¿Cuáles son los colores que vamos a aprender? Let's take a look here. I'm going to check out my screen here, and I'm going to put this here for you. And hopefully you can see it. All right. Thumbs up if you can see this. Okay. Check it out. Tenemos un patito amarillo. A yellow duck. Rojo como la manzana. Verde como la ranita. Y azul como el cielo. Blanco como las nubes here. Negro como las llantas, café como el chocolate, y rosado como el flamingo. So while I sing it, you guys follow along to all the different colors. Ready? Sing this part to me. Yo si se mis colores, yo si se mis colores, yo si se mis colores, y hoy te los canto a ti, amarillo como un patito. Rojo como la manzana, verde como la ranita, y azul como el cielo. Blanco como las nubes, negro como las llantas, café como chocolate, y rosado como el tamito. Let's sing it again, ready? Yo sí sé mis colores, yo sí sé mis colores. Good listening and good singing, my friends. I want to teach you another song about colors. Um, there's so many different colors, and we're going to change it. Mira, estábamos cantando en un tono mayor. Okay, so that song that we sing by my friend Anna is in un tono mayor, meaning it sounds kind of has like a what we say is kind of like a happy sound, like this. When we change to a tono menor, like this, it sounds a little different. A little somber, a little sad, un poquito triste. And when I was teaching these classes um, in Spanish, we would ask, escucha triste o feliz? Hmm. So this song about the rainbow is by Ella Jenkins, and I'm not sure if you've heard of her, but check out her music, Ella Jenkins, and she sings a song about the rainbows. Okay, so let's do this. Everybody go grab something that's from the color of the rainbow. So grab something red, orange, yellow, green, or blue, okay? Just grab something, okay? I'm going to see what's around here that's from one of the colors of the rainbow. It goes like this. I know the colors of the rainbow. I know them very well, I say. And if one color is missing, I know it right away. Say that. I know it right away. Ooh, that's pretty low. I know it right away. Is it low? It's kind of low. Let's sing that again. Let's sing it higher. I know the colors of the rainbow. I know them very well, I say. And if one color is missing, I know it right away. Say that with me. I know that right away. Rojo is the color of the rainbow. So if you have anything around you that is red, can you grab something red? I have two things around here that are red. Um, first thing I have. I have a tambourine. Look, I even still have tambourine with a price tag from the thrift store. So here. Ooh, mira, rojo como el tambourine. This one. What do you have that's red? An apple, maybe? Uh, a cup? A shirt? Earrings? Okay, so then we're going to say. Red is the color of the rainbow. I know it very well, I say. And if another color is missing, I know it right away. Say, I know it right away. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's get one more color of the rainbow. Hmm. Is green a color of the rainbow? Aquí tenemos. What? Look what I found. I found a melodica and it's green. Shall we see if it works? It does work. It does work. Check it out. It's green. Do you have something green at your house? Okay. Last time that we see, también tengo este plato que es verde. Y en la canción dice verde como la ranita. Okay, so let's go back to it. I know the colors of the rainbow. I know them very well, I say. And if one color is missing, I know it right away. I know it right away. Nice. Cool. Okay, before, um, let's, let's think about something, okay? When we're learning Espanol, we're learning a language. We're going to learn right now, las vocales. Do you know what those are? Everybody say, a, e, i, o, u. A, e, i, o, u. Okay, vamos a cantar con el teclado. We're going to do a couple voice exercises. Let me see if I can move it down a little bit. We're going to do a couple voice exercises where we use las vocales, okay? A, e, i, o, u. Tell me if you can hear my keyboard. Whoa, I hear it. I know you can't see me playing it, but we're going to go like this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let me take that off. It's a function here on my cool kazoo. We're going to say ah. Uh. Ready? to learn our vocals go like this las vocales en español sí sé las vocales en español sí sé son a e i o u u a e i o u las vocales en español sí sé muy bien a e i o u sí a e i o u una vez más a e i o u muy bien so on the song de una mosca parada en la pared um, it's a song to kind of learn our vowels and how words can sound different if we end them with different vowels. Okay? So everybody know that song? Que dice la mosca? He goes, and he's pesky, and my mom hates moscas. Does anyone else have a mom or an abuela who hate moscas like a lot more than you do? When a mosca comes in my mom, my house, what do I say? When a mosca comes in the house, my mom would always say, who let in la mosca? She would yell like that. I don't know who else does that. And she's like, kill the mosca! I don't know why she doesn't like them so much. Anyways, let's sing. Una mosca parada en la pared, en la pared, en la pared. Una mosca parada en la pared, en la pared, en la pared. Una mosca, una mosca, una mosca parada en la pared. Una mosca, una mosca, una mosca parada en la pared. And this is where the vocales come in, okay? We say Ana Masca. Everybody say Ana Masca. Does the word masca? No. Ana Masca parada en la parada. A la parada. A la parada. Ana Masca parada en la parada. A la parada. A la parada. Ana Masca. Ana Masca. Ana Masca parada en la parada. Ana Masca. Ana Masca. Let's do one more vocal. Let's say ooh. Everybody say ooh. Ooh. I like that vocal because it reminds me of like a spooky ghost and another song that we might sing. Everybody say ooh. Everybody say uno mosco. Uno mosco puro don lo puro. Uno mosco puro don lo puro. There you go. Good job, 
you guys. I hope you're singing along. Kim, what do you think? Do you think everybody's playing or singing? Well, the last few songs that you sang remind me so much of growing up with my grandmother. And, uh, and so it's, it's this perfect tie-in because it's, uh, that last song also is, uh, is reminding us that music can also add to literacy skills. And, um, and that music is a direct tie to our familia, to our culture, to our history, uh, to La Plaza. So this has been perfect and, uh, and we love it. Thank you. Oh, Do you thanks. have um, another song that you'd like to share before we close this uh, In Casa session out? Oh yeah, I probably have plenty to share, but let me do that. We, let's sing Los Pollitos. I think everybody um, who's out there who sings songs in Spanish, um, is it okay for you too? Absolutely. Okay, so let's sing, since we were singing, um, let's sing Los Pollitos together, okay? And then we'll sing uh, La Llorona, okay? Ooh, uh, me too. I've got a little attitude. Okay, so, um, Sometimes we forget the words of los pollitos, um, but um, sing along with me and just sing which one you know, okay? And it's good because it's una canción de cuna, okay? So it's just kind of chill out like a little lullaby. Ready? Los pollitos dicen pío, 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 cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, la gallina busca. You know, it's funny because we sing, I have a video of La Llorona coming out soon. And um, where is it? Is it over here? I don't think I have it, um, the, the words to it. But um, <clears throat> it's a song in un tono menor, and we'll just sing a little part. It's funny, I would sing it to kindergarten students and they would love it. I think because they like to hear something that has a tone and a tono menor, okay? We say, Todos me dicen la triste llorona, triste pero cariñosa. Todos me dicen la triste llorona, triste pero cariñosa. Yo soy como el chilador de llorona, picante pero sabrosa. Yo soy como el chilador de llorona, picante pero Rosa, rosa, ay, de mi llorona, llorona de ayer y hoy, ay, de mi llorona, llorona de ayer y hoy. And that song, maybe it'll put you to sleep so you can take that two hour nap that you really want to take now. Maybe? <laughs> that was fantastic, Sara. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to all of the familias joining us this morning. Uh, thank you for taking time and, uh, you know, spending your, uh, your time at home with La Plaza. Uh, we miss you so much on our campus. And so until we can meet again on our campus, we will be coming to you in casa. Uh, we have conversations, cooking demonstrations, live music, um, different events almost every day of the week at this point. Um, and of course, you know, uh, Abelardo is now in casa almost daily. And so uh, you can visit our website or our Facebook page to find out what our next session is. Um, thank you, Sara. Sara would normally be at an event like one of our family days. We host five family days throughout the year for special holidays tied to our cultura. And, um, and because we can't do those live this year, we will be uh, making the same activities available online uh, like these wonderful music sessions. So thank you so much for spending your morning with us, Sara. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Abelardo, and thank you, Kim, for having me. It was really special to be part of this, to be able to reach more families today, so thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Sara. Just going to read some of the comments here from uh, Sandy Romero. This is wonderful. Marguella del Toro, que lindo. Mary Lettuce says, hi, Sara. I remember this song from when I used to take the kids. From uh, And this is from our Facebook from uh, our Zoom chat, thank you for all of, of, all of you who are uh, registered on Zoom. Fue muy bonito, says Dalia Rodriguez. Sara Older Aguilar says, gracias. Sara and Victoria says, bravo. 
So thank you so much for, uh, for joining in everybody to En Casa Con La Plaza. I'm gonna share my screen here just to show you what's up for next week, okay? This is our, we're going on our sixth week now uh, in Casa Con La Plaza. So starting uh, on, on, as Kim said, we do have cooking demonstrations. This Monday coming up, Brett Thompson from Pez Cantina is gonna show his recipe for shrimp and seafood agua chile. That sounds pretty delicious. And we'll be posting the recipe beforehand on our Facebook page and also sending it out to the, all of those who have registered on Zoom in case you want to get the ingredients and cook along. On Wednesday, Marisa Lopez, an associate professor at UCLA, is going to talk about corridos, cumbias, and coronavirus. As you know, with uh, there a lot of responses to, uh, to coronavirus, of course, all of us are trying to stay safe, stay home. Uh, but artists, musicians have been using the, the coronavirus as a way to express themselves, as a way to impart different messages. And Marisa is gonna show, what we'll be talking about it and we'll be also showing some of the videos that have resulted uh, because of this phenomena. On Thursday, a real special uh, with Julissa Arce, an author, social justice advocate. I, I'm sure you've heard of, a, of her books. We'll be in conversation with Kimberly Hernandez, a student at Laverne University, one of our great partners, and talking about undocumented well-being in higher education. And then finally, bringing it back to the music, on Friday, June 5th, we have the great Beto Arcos, a radio journalist, who will be hosting uh, musicians talking about the African influence in Latin American music. As you know, because of the the coronavirus and trying to stay, stay, stay safe at home, we've had to temporarily close uh, La Plaza de Cultura y Artes. We currently still have on our walls and hopefully when we reopen, we have Afro Latinidad, Mi Casa, My Ciudad. So this is a, one of those uh, programs which we usually have accompanying our exhibitions. This is gonna be a great one. Our first musical uh, in Casa where the musicians are in three different places. So we'll see how that works out. I'm sure it's gonna work out well. Uh, I invite you to, to come on to our website. Here I'm gonna show you, uh, we do have online exhibitions, lapca.org. You can click on this link here. It'll take you to uh, YouTube uh, videos that show walkthroughs of our exhibitions. We also, um, Here's all of our Zoom sessions, the upcoming, and we also have them all archived so you could come back and revisit ones that you may have missed. And then also we have here La Plaza Comunidad, where it shows what other institutions, other organizations are doing to promote their programming and to keep us all entertained and informed uh, while we're staying safe at home. So with that, I'm gonna go back to stop sharing. And uh, thank you all again, Sada, thank you so much, Kim, so much. We'd like to thank our sponsors, AARP California and Walmart uh, for making this possible. We usually have our programming at La Plaza. Now we're en casa con La Plaza. Check us out on lapca.org. We're on Facebook at La Plaza LA. Those that joined us today on Facebook, thank you so much. On Twitter at La Plaza LA, on Instagram at La Plaza LA, and we hope to see you real soon, hope, hope to see you on Monday and in the weeks to come. So, hasta luego, ya es, ya mero son las doce, ya mero va a ser las tarde, pero we thank you all and we'll see you soon. Bye, Sara, bye everyone, thank you so much. Bye, thank you. Adios. Adios. Adios.